Hey everyone, welcome back to another workout session. Today's workout is a compound circuit focusing on your upper body as well as your core strength. Before we get started, I want you to make sure that you're bracing your core throughout the workout. What does it mean to brace your core? That means squeezing and engaging your abdominal muscles and also to make sure that your posture is upright throughout the workout. So no slouching or hunching, okay? Now imagine this situation. If someone were to punch you right in the stomach and you're not ready, it's gonna hurt, correct? But if you were to brace your core and squeeze your abs, if someone were to punch you, it's gonna hurt less because your core is rock solid. The same thing goes with if someone were to push you and you're not ready, you're going to fall. But if you're ready, you're going to be able to maintain your balance and posture. So remember to brace your core throughout the workout. Let's get started. There will be a total of three circuits. Each workout will be for 45 seconds long with 15 seconds rest in between. And you'll need one pair of medium weight dumbbells, okay? So let's start with a quick warm up. Because it's going to be an upper body workout, I want you to just loosen up the joints of your upper body. So in an L-shaped position without any weights, just squeeze and open up, okay? Bring your elbows together and spread it. Really feel the stretch on your upper back as well as your shoulders, okay? Elbows touching and open up. Good. Few more. And now, with this position, let's just bring your palms down and up. So it's an L rotation. Again, we want to warm up the joints on our shoulders because we're going to be doing a lot of work on our shoulders. So up and down, just up and down, maintaining this position. Do not drop your arms, okay? And now just press up, imagining that you're doing a shoulder press. Up and down, up and down, good. Now let's combine it. L rotation with a press. L rotation with a press. Just to warm up the joints. And one more, L rotation with a press, good. Now, let's just get into a squat and a twist, okay? Remember what I said in the beginning of the video, brace your core. So, engage those core muscles, squeeze your abs as you come up, and try to get your knee to reach your elbow. And squat deeper, good. Twist and reach. Push your butt back and reach. Last two more on each side. Up and down. One more. And good. Okay, now I want you to step in a wide sumo squat position with the toes pointed out. Let's get into a squat. Turn the opposite side to a lunge, okay? Squat, the other way, lunge. Still warming up our hips, our legs, and really just opening up this part. Twist, squat, push it back, down. Squat down, feel the stretch on your inner thighs, down and up. Good. Last one more. The other side. And come back up. Okay, few hip rotations and we're ready to start our first circuit. So push your hips forward and back. And now the opposite side. Really push your hips forward all the way back. And good. All right, for the first circuit, you'll need a medium weight dumbbells. Choose a weight which you know you can um, use it throughout the entire workout. So I would say between three to five kilos each, okay? The first workout is going to be a squat and a press. What I want to do is stand shoulder width apart with the toes pointed forward, have the dumbbells facing forward, squat down as you come up, press straight up, okay? So your palms should be facing in, down, all the way up. Because this is a compound circuit, it's going to work on your total body, but with the focus on your upper body as well as core, okay? Squat is a great workout because it really engages your core in order to keep your body upright. Push your butt back. As you come up, 
push the dumbbell straight up, down, nice and strong, push up, good, point your elbows forward, last two more, press it up, back down, up, last one more, and up, all right, drop the dumbbells. The second workout is going to be a lunge and a twist. So let's do it without any dumbbells to begin with. Really engage your core. What I'm going to do is take a step forward, step back, as you step back, twist to the opposite direction. Forward, back, and twist. So twist towards the direction where your leg is bent. Twist, it's all about core engagement. Twist, good. Now let's add in an extra movement. So. Twist, reach your arms out, back in, reach your arms out, and twist, okay? Back in and out. Good. So I want you to engage your shoulder muscles as well. Back out, in, and for the second set, we'll be lifting the weights. Twist, and back up, down, and twist, up, down, and twist. Okay, app workout. Let's get down onto the floor for the tucks, all right? So, point your toes forward, support your upper body with your palms, fingers pointed forward. Let's go, keep your legs straight, up and down. Beginners, if this is too difficult, you can choose to bend your knees, straighten it, crunch it in, and extend it out, okay? For a harder version, crunch, toes pointed forward, crunch up. Good, remember that your upper body should not be doing the work. It's all about engaging your core muscles, your lower abs, your upper abs, and lift your legs up. Very nice. Straight up, down. Feel your legs shaking. Feel your entire body shaking. That's what we want. Last few more. Up, back down, up and down. Whew. And get back up. Okay, it's back to the first workout, okay? Squat with shoulder press. So stand shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. Dumbbells just directly in front of you. Let's go. Strong arms, strong shoulders, strong core. Press it straight up. Down as low as you can if you want to. Try to get your elbows to touch your knees. If this is too much, then just a regular squat. Down and up, push it up, good. Down and press up. Nice and controlled. So do not rest the dumbbells on your shoulders, okay? Good. Woo. Well done. I love upper body workouts. And I think that's something that we don't do enough of. That's one more, down and up okay drop one dumbbell all right it's going to be a lunge with a twist this time we want to use the weights again step forward ready take a lunge back extend your arm twist good do you feel that challenge it's going to challenge your balance hence that's why i said brace your core twist do not lose balance twist nice and controlled back up Extend, twist, very good. Twist the opposite side, bring the dumbbell in. If you want to, keep your knees bent throughout the workout. Stay low for an extra challenge. Bring it in, twist the opposite side, in and out. Woo! It's gonna work on your front delts as well. And in, do you feel your glutes as well? It's a total body. Workout, all right. Drop the dumbbell. One final cardio blaster before we end this circuit. Skate this, okay? So I want you to challenge your cardio and challenge your balance. Let's go. Hop, the opposite side, and reach. If this is too difficult, take a step and take a step, okay? Choose your option. For the extra cardio endurance burst, let's go for a hop as far as you can, and reach. Remember, body upright. Do not drop your shoulders or hunch forward. Chest up. Very good. 
Last 15 more seconds. And just pace your breathing. Two more. Last three, two, and one. Okay, good news. You're getting a one minute break. And we want to move on to the second circuit. Grab some water and keep yourself hydrated. Are we ready for the second circuit? The second circuit is going to challenge your chest and also back strength. So the first workout is going to be a push up and a row. Again, you'll need your dumbbells. So let's start on our knees, okay? Two dumbbells, one push up, row left and right. On your knees, push up. If you want more challenge, then you can go on your toes. So this is for your chest and this is going to work on your lats. Remember, keep your butt down, your hips down. Do not pike your butt up, okay? Push up and row. Good, keep going. This is a challenging workout, but it's extremely effective. Row, down and up. Try to get your chest as low towards the floor. Okay, good. Second exercise. It's going to be a burpees with an upright row. So a little bit of cardio movement, but again, with the focus on our shoulders. All right, so both dumbbells, burpees up, come up, row it up, okay? Back down, push it up, come up, row. So bring the dumbbells close to your chest with your elbows spread out. Kick back, up, row. Remember that the dumbbells should not be higher than your elbows. Back down, kick it out, up. Good. Stay strong, strong core. Get into a plank position, back up and row. Good. Up. Last few more, one more. And good, drop the dumbbells. Core workout, let's get down onto the floor. Reverse plank with a crunch. So I want you to stay on your toes, okay? Crunch in, crunch in, okay? Opposite leg. So maintaining the strength from your arms as well as your core. Bring your knee close to your chest, good. It's a challenge, but that's what we want. Drive it in and out. Point your toes, lift your hips up, lift your butt off and crunch. Keep going. Good, point your toes. Rest on your heels. Last one more and back up. Okay, it's back to the first workout. I am sweating and I hope you are at home as well. All right, push up with a row, okay? So what I'm going to do is, if you can, get onto your toes, one full push up, dumbbell up and up. So spread your legs apart, your feet apart to, for a better balance. Crunch it up. Down, strong chest. I know that most of us hate push up, but seriously, it is one of the best upper body and core workout. So if you can, try to fit in 
at least 10 push-ups every day. Row, down, push it up. Stay strong. This is also going to challenge your wrist. Up and row. Last one more. And row. Okay. Oh, I'll be ready for the burpee challenge. All right. Let's get your dumbbells ready. Ready? In a plank position. Let's go up. Pull it up. Back down. Push it up. Row it up. Okay? Bring the dumbbell towards your upper chest and slowly lower it back down. Do not just drop it, lower it back down and up. Good job, good work. This is a really good front and rear delt workout. Up, push it back. Oh my gosh, I am dripping. Last two more. At least two more. Last one more. And up. All right. Drop the dumbbells. Oh. Reverse plank. Okay. Get onto the floor. This is real, man. This is going down. I am sweating. I can feel my heart rate pumping. Let's go. Alternate leg. Up and down. Good. Crunch it in. Lift it up. Try to bring your knee close to your chest. One step at a time. Slowly return your feet to the starting position. And I always say this, but you have to pace your breathing, okay? Don't rush through the workout. Pace your breathing. It's going to help you to go further. This is not a sprint, all right? I want you to finish this with me. Okay, good job. Come back up, back up, all right. One minute of cardio blaster. It's gonna be jumping jacks, okay? Love this workout, hate this workout. Let's bring our heart rate up. You can choose the low impact option or if you're with me, let's give it our all. up and out. So reach your hands together, toes pointed out, keep your knees soft, and let's do this. 20 more seconds to the end of the second circuit. You're with me. Stay strong. It's gonna be so worth it. Tap and reach. Do not stop right now. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. High five. Oh, that is the end of the second circuit. Like always, I'm nice, so take a short one minute break. This is your final circuit. If you have a mat, grab a mat. And if you have a light pair of dumbbells, only one kilo, then grab it as well. If not, you can also use any water bottles at home. So for the final circuit, we'll, we'll be staying on our mat throughout the entire workout. The first workout is going to be a plank to a lateral raise. So plank really challenges your core strength as well as your upper body. Let's start by getting into a high plank position, what I want you to do is grab one dumbbell, lift it up, raise it, twist it, and slowly lower it back down. So it's all about control, it's all about precision. Do not rush through the workout. Twist, engage your obliques, engage your core, and up, okay? Try to straighten your arms. Do not let it wobble around. Twist, drop your hips, 
Okay, rotate your hips while maintaining the high plank position. So do not pike your butt up or do not dip your hips. That's one more on each side. Up, back down. One more, up and back down. Okay, now let's lie down on your belly. All right, this is going to be a superman squeeze. It's going to work on your lower back as well as your upper back and shoulders. I want you to keep your feet down, squeeze it up and squeeze and straighten your arms and back down. So just keep your thighs on the floor because I want you to focus on working your back muscles and your shoulders. Down, up, squeeze. Good. Lift all the way up and squeeze. Can you feel it? This is a really good workout even without any weights. Extend, squeeze, feel the squeeze on your lats, your rhomboids, and back down. Squeeze. Good. Keep your belly engaged to the floor. A few more. Up. Remember to maintain a neutral neck. All right, good. One more core workout, plank up, down, okay? So, start in a high plank position. Remember to brace your core, keep your back flat throughout, and now drop one hand down, the other side, and push yourself back up, alternating between left and right. So, there should be minimal movement coming from your hips. Drop it down and up. Feel the work on your arms, your shoulders, and your core. Really engage and squeeze your abdominal muscles. Push it up, your deep abdominal muscles, okay? And back up. You should not be rotating your hips this way. This is wrong, okay? Push it up, back down, up, down. That's two more. Stay strong. Stay with me. That's one more and rest. All right, back to the starting of the final circuit. Grab your dumbbells. All right, this is going to be a plank with a lateral raise, okay? High plank, grab it, raise it up to the side, high up, balance, twist. Good. And slowly, with control, lower the dumbbells down. Nice. Twist and up. Good. Oh, my shoulders are absolutely burning. And that is what we want, okay? You want to be rocking those sexy shoulders in your sleeveless tops. Up, back down. Bring it up, down. That's one more. And down. Okay, push the dumbbells aside. If you have a light pair of dumbbells, I'm only using one kilo. Let's add a little bit of challenge and use this. It's gonna really burn, I promise you. Okay, grab it, extend, up, squeeze, back down, up, and squeeze. Woo! And back down. Just that little bit of additional weight. I can already feel it. Squeeze. Lift your shoulders off the floor and squeeze. Extend and down. Stay with me. Keep your hips down, keep your legs down. Just focusing on your back, shoulders and abs. Up, squeeze, extend and down. Let me know in the comments below if this workout is a killer. Oh, absolutely dying and back down okay all right final plank workout okay it's gonna be plank up down okay guys you got this only two minutes left to the end of your workout let's go high plank lower yourself down push yourself back up down and opposite side so alternating between hands nice and control do not just collapse Push, okay? Making sure that your arm is in a straight line with your shoulders. So, arms should be directly underneath your shoulders. 
not too far forward and up. Good. Brace your core. Minimal movements from the hips. Push it up. Last few more. Last one more. It's raining in here. <laughs> and back down. All right. You know the drill. One minute of cardio blaster. Let's do this. It's going to be a plank jacks. Okay, let's give me all your effort. Let's go. Out and in, out and in. Push it out and in. Beginners, you can take a step out and in, okay? Choose your option. Keep going. And breathe. Strong upper body. And same thing, do not pike your butt up. Maintain the high plank position. Last 15 seconds, push into the ground. Let's go. Last five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more. One and two. Oh, oh my gosh. If you are sweating like me, well done to you. Great effort. Let's get into a child's pose and just bring our heart rate down. All right. Oh. Wipe your sweat if you need to. <laughs> Absolutely drenched. Okay, before you go anywhere, let's end with a quick cool down. You can stay on your knees if you want to. Let's really stretch out our upper body, okay? So just rotate your shoulders back. Loosen up the joints. You have worked really hard on your upper body today. Forward. Bring your elbows forward. And now let's just stretch your shoulders. Right arm across and just pull it in. Good, hold it there. You're at the end of your workout. You're not rushing to go anywhere. So just take this time to bring your heart rate back down and feel the stretch. Lengthen your muscles. Extend, release, and the opposite side. Okay. And now, let's just big circles back and big circles forward. Good. And now let's just stretch out our hip flexors. So, right at the edge of your mat, take your left knee forward, and I want you to just push your body weight forward into the ground, and you should feel the stretch on your right hip flexor. Okay? And now, right arm across, and just twist, open up your chest, straighten your back, and just feel the stretch on your back and your hips as well. Good. Look the opposite side. And now release the other side, okay? So right leg forward. Again, drop your body weight forward and really feel the stretch on your left hip flexor. And now left arm across, right hand on your waist and just stretch and look the opposite side. And just release. One more last stretch. Downward dog. So get into a plank position. This time, I want you to push your butt back, push your butt up, and really push your palms into the floor and your heels to the floor. So it should really stretch out your shoulders, your back muscles, as well as your calves and hamstrings. And just look directly between your legs keeping a neutral spine. Back into a plank, one more last stretch. Push it back. Good, and stay here. And slowly come back down. Very, very, very well done. That is the end of a compound circuit with a focus on your upper body as well as core strength. 
be sure to check out other workouts on my YouTube channel. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet done it. And do give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, get this workout done, do it regularly for a leaner and toned arms. And I will see you in my next workout. All the best.